Hey everyone, welcome to week 18 of Building Viral Blade Ridge. Uh, this week, is you'll notice it's a shorter segment, but we just go over more kind of conceptual ideas, some kind of things you got to think about before, you know, while you're building or while you're waiting for parts, you got to think about these things, or at least I have to in this case for this mock. Uh, we'll talk about weapons, we'll talk about, um, we'll revisit, actually we will revisit the trench design, so there won't be a lot of building in this segment, if any. It'd be more if I had something kind of built up as a example, I show you, say, hey, this is this, and this is what's going to go in. But I do have a, I will have a question or two for you this week. So uh, go ahead, please watch the whole video and help me answer these questions because, you know, I just want to know what I'm doing. I want to know what you want to see, and I kind of want to know what my ideas are, you know, people like. So as I go through and build future mocks, whether this size or smaller, I kind of get the idea of what uh, people like. So without further ado, let's get into this short segment. Hey everyone, so starting off this week, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to go over the order I place, kind of so what we all can expect to come. I have uh, several pictures here. I took a <clears throat> photo off the computer of what I'm going to be getting. So right off the bat, you can see we're getting in a lot of different plates. It's uh, these ones, actually all the parts you do see here <clears throat> will be for Viral Blade Ridge. I did add in some parts that... Um, aren't for Viral Blade Ridge, just some extra parts I wanted for other stuff or future stuff. Because uh, I thought this would be enough after kind of placing the order and looking back, I realized it wasn't enough. <clears throat> Pardon me, it's a little early in the morning. A little squeak. Ooh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got 2x6 plates in that dark tan, 2x4 plates in the dark plan, tan, 1x4s uh, in the dark tan, 1x2s in dark tan. We got those slopes, which is nice. And we got uh, dark gray, one by twos. Apparently, this is the same picture. Interesting. Um, ooh, power flickered. Um, but then we have more uh, the light tan, one by two, uh, brown, one by two, and then I got all these white bricks. Um, these are gonna be for another project that I want to do. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's not crate, although I did order parts to do a crate. Um, the rest of these parts really aren't for that, that's for something else I want to do. But I did want to go over the order with you, just to let you all know. Um, I did place the order. Um, as many of you probably know, I do order from Pick-A-Brick as of right now. So, I went ahead, got that ordered. It's already been shipped. I ordered it two, I ordered it three days ago. It was shipped yesterday. So hopefully in a little bit we'll have it. Um, next week we may do a week point five, or we might, I don't know what we'll do yet. It kind of comes down to what my second paycheck looks like because I spent about half of my paycheck on this. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah, so without further ado, I guess, you know, before I just kind of sit here or ramble on, let's just go ahead and hop into the next part of the video. We were just talking about ordering uh, parts from LIGO, which I already did, which is great. Those parts are on the way. Super excited. Again, I'm also recording this part uh, kind of early in the morning, so I'm sorry if I'm not as upbeat or lively or if I sound just completely drained. Um, but I did just kind of get up a couple minutes ago, half an hour ago or so. Uh, but I was looking at my CAC weaponry, what I have left. I probably have a couple more be spread throughout. I know, like, over there, there's some clones over there I know have weapons. I know some out in the other room have weapons. Well, that's the majority of what I have, and since we're looking at probably quadrupling this number, I'm probably going to need to order more. Unfortunately, though, I really don't want to order more of these <clears throat> until I kind of get to the number of clones I want, because I think this is this size mock, the odds of me using any more clones, like a larger number of clones on a mock like this would be very slim to none. I think right now this will be my largest figure count. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go through these a little bit more, but you know, I got a decent number of rifles, a lot more than just the DC-15s. So I'm getting really excited uh, just looking at this because it's like, all right, that's how many weapons I have. I know I'm gonna need more. You know, that's how many clones I have. I know I'm gonna get more. So it's looking really cool. I'm really excited uh, just to see the uh, the number of figures when we get done with it, which is leading me into kind of my next point. Uh, we are going to be able to focus on clones here in a little bit. After we get this order arrives, and even while we're waiting for it, and I do the last of the filler brick we need because it is still just the one base plate, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be able to just focus on getting the clones and some last details. The nice part is by getting this order in, we can focus on... I can finish plating and uh, designing the droid side of the mock. 
I can get into the point and I can uh, <clears throat> uh, work on the uh, blown out sections, the foxholes, whatever you want to call them, and then just detail. And then while we're doing that, I can go ahead and get clones. So by like <clears throat> two, maybe three weeks, I can go ahead and we can do a video just about the clone army, which is going to be really cool. Something I'd like to do before I even put all the figures on there is kind of get all the clones I'm going to use, all the droids I'm going to use, set them side by side. Kind of get a quantity look at it. But that's really cool. Um, getting excited, you know, it doesn't sound like it right now because, like I said, it's early. But, you know, the fact that I'm this close to this project being done, um, I dumped a lot more money into this a lot quicker than my last large project. So I'm not happy that I haven't been able to save as much money as I wanted to. So I know it's kind of going to slow down here, when I, especially when it just comes to buying the battle packs. I'll probably buy, you know, three or four at a time, do that several times, and then... When I get to the point I'm good, I'm good. There will be a time last for those clones, though. But I will say, expect a Clone Army Customs order, because it is something that needs to happen. Especially because, you know, I, I do use Clone Army Customs. And especially with their weapons, when I'm using Lego clones, or... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, their clones. Wow, a couple squeaks this morning. Uh, I always like to use their weaponry, because it is nice. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be doing with the droids... Reason being is just the way the droid hands are designed and to work with uh, the CAC molds, they're not the best. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to go through. What I'll probably do is take the uh, blasters I do have for the droids, try it out on almost every single type of droid I'm going to use, or every droid I'm going to use, or most of them. And if it holds on pretty well, I might just go ahead and I might order a whole bunch of the <clears throat> droid blasters. If not, we'll just use Lego blasters for the droids and Clone Army Customs Blasters for the clones. I am going to be using uh, probably some mortars, so I will have to order in a couple more. I have four total. I got three here. I got one over um, there, again, with those guys. Um, if you haven't seen this yet, it's, it has been on my Instagram a long time ago. I had this little umbar-looking thing. Um, if you want more pictures of that, uh, comment that down below. So we'll go ahead and add that um, as a question this week. Do you want to see more pictures of that? I already shared that, um, Mark. I got this from a friend. But um, let me know if you want to see more of that. But without further ado, again, uh, before I start rambling even more, we're going to go ahead and hit the next segment of the mock, or next segment of the video. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think we're going to do a lot of building this week. That's why I'm going to go ahead and kind of talk about uh, the tents here again really quick because we haven't visited the tents in a long time. Because uh, the only other building we'd probably get in this week would be... Uh, filler brick and that's kind of boring but I wanted to just bring up the tents again because uh, if you follow me on Instagram you know I've been redesigning some uh, Lego cars and I bought a couple of the Ford uh, Mustangs the new green one and I don't build them entirely I buy a lot of it for some parts and stuff like that but I went ahead and I used this part uh, to make the uh, or to hold the two parts of the tent together like there's not gonna be much to, again they're probably not gonna be much more than just sitting here I might design a back to it, I might not. Uh, it comes down to if I really take, decide to take it to a convention, which I don't know if I'm going to. Um, i got to figure out if I'm just going to go and visit uh, Brick World Michigan this year or if I'm going to try and display. I kind of got to look into that a little bit more. But it also comes down to my time. I don't think I'm going to be able to go at least for the full uh, weekend this year because of... Uh, future commitments coming up that I can't miss. I only have so many days I can miss this, so I can't really just say, oh, I'm going to take the weekend, I'm going to take four days and do this, five days and do this, because I just can't. I can go up there for a day or two and maybe visit, but I'm not going to be able to just, oh, let's just go and uh, do that, unfortunately, just because of what's going on. Uh, if you want more details on that, um, again, let me know. I'm not going to put that as a question, but that's just something... I thought I'd let you know, but these are how the what the tents are looking like. I really like them, especially for some, you know, it's just more aesthetics. You know, I'm not going to do anything with They're probably just going to be clones out here. There's not going to be really clones doing anything with them, maybe walking past them. I think they look nice. You know, they look good uh, compared to, you know, the rest of the mock. Um, they're not huge. Um, and then if you kind of compare them to the shuttle, you know, you're looking at that, and you're looking at that, there is some size comparison. You know, it is smaller, not crazy smaller, but, you know, you can... I like it, you know, before I just try to fit too many stupid words into what I'm trying to say. it uh, They look great. I love them. I just thought I'd bring them up again. I don't know if I'm going to do more to them. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll add in uh, some 
little details here uh, see what kind of slopes I have maybe I'll add in like a kind of just looks like they're a little more shut I'm not sure yet but let me know what you think I you know again they're not the greatest so I might mess with them you know as time goes on kind of at a later date or I might just leave them kind of just to hey those are what those are gonna be for this mock so yeah let's move on guys to close off the video I just want to kind of come back and show you what design we decided to go with um, what a couple people I didn't get a lot of answers, but the answers I did get were uh, for this design kind of the uh, rough Randomized design now having this smooth, you know kind of Edge of the tile plate right here We're gonna see what we can do after we kind of get it all built and try to morph it all in make it look good I'm gonna see what I can do there. I got a couple ideas, but we're gonna see what I can do Hopefully we can come up with something nice that looks you know good and natural but uh, one thing I really need people to help me with and comment on this week is the height of the trench. So this one, it's two bricks deep. This one's two bricks deep. That's where the droid comes up. That's what the droid's looking at. This one is two... Wait, no. I lied. This one's only a brick and a little bit deep. This one's uh, two bricks deep right here this one right here this is two bricks deep uh, so the droid just barely comes over but I like it because it's most of his body is protected it's just the head that's exposed and you know he's gonna be shooting up because you know obviously you're at foot height if you're in the trench you're gonna shoot up a little bit so you can hit them in the chest or in the head this one you're kind of level with there's not a lot of cover kind of just the kind of just uh, half the body but let me know what you think um, I really like this one and if I don't get a lot of comments, I'm probably going to go with uh, design or depth two. So two bricks deep <clears throat> instead of one brick deep. But go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you like best. Uh, that'd be really nice, really helpful. Uh, but without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and end out this uh, short segment this week. That was week 18. Like I said, uh, pretty short. You know, we talked about the weapons and the clones again. We revisited the trench. And we also visited the tents. It's been a while since we talked about those tents. I just kind of have them. The two halves of like uh, two or three of them just lying around. I finally got um, two of them up. I just need to get two more of the uh, parts I was using, which will happen because I'm going to end up buying that uh, Mustang set again for the uh, plating parts. I don't know why you do it so expensively. Just because I get other parts I can play with later on. Uh, you know, obviously where I work I get a discount. So it's, you know, uh, it's cheaper than what the set's really worth, and I'm kind of able to get, get some more parts for the collection. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll pick up another one of those and we should have all three tents kind of set up. Let me know if you think I should add any detail to them, you know, outside of what they are. Maybe just a little bit, maybe some slopes or something on the front or the back. But like I said, they're more kind of just overall looks, you know, from a distance. You know, when you get up close, you're like, eh, they're kind of just there, you know, for the overall look. They're not crazy detailed, but they are there and they do add more to the mock, a little bit of a color change. So let me know if you think I should touch those or just leave them there. You know, we've accepted the fact they're kind of just there is kind of more color contrast. Um, another thing we talked about, or I would like a question or an answer for the question this week, is the depth of the trench. We want one brick or two brick. I personally, I like two brick, so if I don't get a lot of answers, I'm going with two brick, uh, just because it covers the droid more and you know it looks more like a trench. And all uh, truth uh, said, be done. Where the other one is about the height or a little deeper than what I would do, uh, what I'm planning on doing for the uh, cannons. You know what I might do maybe is. The cannons will be at that depth, and then the trench will be at the two brick depth. I'm not sure yet. I kind of got to mess around with that, or maybe the cannons won't be at that quite. Um, I don't know yet. I got a couple ideas I'm messing around with. So uh, we'll kind of see what comes from that, what ideas spark from there. And then lastly, a question that wasn't really related to the mock, but I kind of showed you part of that uh, on Barn Mini Mock. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I uh, posted that, those a long time ago, that mock. I posted one or two pictures a long time ago, and then a while ago, not as long ago, I um, just posted it again kind of, you know, just for something to post because I was looking for some post. Um, I know I've been lacking on my Wednesday mini mock uploads. I have about three or four of them. It's just been, I've been busy Wednesdays. Uh, it's kind of like I work half the day and I try to get stuff done again or I like work and then I go do something, you know, so I'm busy. But I'm trying to gonna try this week. I promise to get a Wednesday upload in. Maybe I'll do two. Maybe I'll do like a Tuesday and a Thursday upload. I can't guarantee that because I am very busy this week. I got two extra days than normal on at my second job. But let me know if you want to see that. Not that uh, third question, you know, do you want to see that mini mock, you know, up here on YouTube? 
kind of a smaller thing, kind of not as big of a deal, not as good, I think, as my latest mocks, but, you know, it's still nice to look at. But the questions I would like answered is the uh, depth and uh, the tents. Otherwise, guys, I'm not going to take any more time out today. Thank you for uh, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.